And now, let's take a look at a brand new District Wins. Fresh off the Iowa caucus, the students at Diplomat Middle School held their own mock presidential election. They featured two fake candidates, Democratic Ruth Washington and Republican Thomas Lincoln III on the ballot. Lee County elections had actual voting booths and voting ballots. This mock election is putting these students into a real-life, hands-on collaborative project designed to make an impression on everyone involved. Necessity is the mother of invention. Take a look at this engineering marvel. The students from Dunbar High School have created a compact solar-powered system for hydroponic towers at their school and for use at Heights Elementary School. It has become imperative for our schools to use when electricity is not available to run the irrigation system. Meanwhile, over at Tanglewood Elementary School, special thanks to Amy and Nicole for helping to organize our very first academic winter challenge. 200 kindergarten through fifth grade students stepped up to take on the challenge. They were treated to wearing PJs, hot cocoa, and donuts for their effort. Way to go, everyone. Here's a well-deserved congratulations to Junior ROTC instructor, Lieutenant Colonel Carlson of Estero High School. He was just named the VFW Post 4254 and the VFW District 13 Teacher of the Year. We are so proud of you, Lieutenant Colonel Carlson. Hey, we'd like to recognize the amazing effort of these deaf and hard of hearing students at Allen Park Elementary School. The recent Red Kettle Drive raised $260 for our community. Thanks so much to Miss Renee for making the Red Kettle Drive a holiday tradition. And of course, we'd also like to thank everyone who donated. Well, that was a bittersweet day at Harns Marsh Middle School as we said goodbye to our bookkeeper and friend, Mrs. Brenda Greenwell. Although she will definitely be enjoying her retirement, she will be so missed. And of course, we had to celebrate with her favorite, Rib City. Finally, check out this awesome culminating activity for our freshman students from South Fort Myers High School. It's called Everglades Literacy, and all of them did a fantastic job. Uh, by the way, no carpets were harmed during this activity. If you'd like to see your school featured in District Wins, send us your photos and information to news at leeschools.net.